2,700 megawatts. The voltage supplied to the plant in cooling towers and scrubbers is 10 kV. At one of the power switches, the cable termination needs to be checked. This work requires the appliance of all five safety rules. The pump HDF12 has been switched off for maintenance. Safety rule number one. The green dot indicates that the electrical plant is completely disconnected. We're going to switch off the control voltage. Rule two, secure against reconnection. The pulling out of the switch trolley ensures that the power switch cannot be reconnected. Rule three, verify that the installation is dead. Here too, a functional check with a voltage detector is required. And a functional check on the buzz bar as an additional check for especially cautious and doubtful electricians. Now follows the voltage test on the cable terminals. Rule four, carry out earthing and short circuiting. Right lads, where your worksite has been completely disconnected, secured against reconnection, it's been verified that the installation is dead and it's all earthed and short circuited. And rule five, provide protection against adjacent live parts. Protection has been provided by means of a safety chain. After the correct and proper application of the five safety rules, the permission to start work is given by the responsible electrician. After completion of work, the tools and equipment must be removed. The plant supervisor is notified on completion of work and issues instructions then to make the plant ready for operation again. The safety measures can now be removed in reverse order. Remove the safety chain. Remove earthing and short circuiting. The second safety measure is removed by reinstalling the switch trolley and switching on the control voltage. The plant supervisor can switch on and in doing so removes the first safety measure. The brain has sent the appropriate signals. The electricians have applied all five safety rules. Act properly without the risk of accidents.